Welcome to the Barton Mines Corporate Headquarters at 6 Warren Street in Glens Falls. This historic building has been completely renovated, utilizing state-of-the-art green building practices to create an environmentally sound and resource efficient structure. The renovations of this building are intended to promote environmental stewardship while creating a workspace that is healthy, comfortable, and aesthetically pleasing for Barton employees. According to the United States Green Building Council, homes and buildings are responsible for 39% of all greenhouse gas emissions in the country. At the Barton headquarters, environmental stewardship is achieved through resource conservation, water conservation, energy efficiency, and the use of renewable energy technology. The renovations will reduce operating and maintenance costs while addressing issues such as historic preservation and access to public transportation and other community infrastructure systems. The entire life cycle of the building and its components was considered. Using an integrated design approach and evaluating the long-term impacts on the environment and the local economy. LEAD, short for Leadership in Energy and Environmental Design, is the nationally accepted benchmark for the design, construction, and operations of high-performance green buildings. A typical commercial building that is developed using these stringent standards for resource conservation and efficiency reduces energy consumption by 32%. The Barton headquarters has achieved LEED Platinum certification and is one of only seven buildings across the state that meet these criteria. LEED certified buildings incorporate a whole building approach to sustainability by recognizing performance in five key areas of human and environmental health. Sustainable site development, water savings, energy efficiency, materials selection, and indoor environmental quality. Renovating an existing downtown building recycles the site and promotes urban revitalization. Reuse of some of the building's components and existing infrastructure saves resources. The project's proximity to community amenities and basic services allow pedestrian access and encourage the use of public transportation. The structure's electrical power is 100% new wind energy, supplied by community energy from New York State green, non-polluting wind generating facilities. In addition, wire and conduit are in place for future photovoltaic generation to utilize solar energy. Come with us on a virtual tour and observe the features of this innovative construction. The building's front sidewalk and entrance were constructed using local Barton stone to save energy in the transportation of the materials. The neighbor-friendly lighting scheme in the rear of the building reduces light pollution while saving energy. A geothermal well field generates energy efficient heating and cooling. The green space over the geothermal well field was preserved and replanted. The parking surface was designed with a light color to reduce the heat island effect and provide a permeable surface for reducing stormwater runoff and allowing groundwater recharging. Fuel efficient vehicle parking encourages and rewards the use of low emission vehicles to reduce air pollution. No new parking spaces were constructed. Bicycle racks promote employee use of bicycles to reduce pollution and land development impacts from automobile use. The structure's exterior walls were retained and its walls, roof and floor were recycled during the renovation. Insulation upgrades for the walls and roof provide higher heating and cooling efficiency. All windows were replaced and upgraded to high efficiency thermal windows. 68% potable water use reduction has been achieved by the design and implementation of a stormwater control system and water efficient plumbing fixtures. The system incorporates a green roof that collects rainwater for storage and uses it with the building's low flow water saving plumbing fixtures. 
Efficient use of rainwater conserves fresh water supplies and saves energy and costs associated with water treatment. Filtered drinking water stations are used instead of bottled water. Bottled water contributes to the consumption of packaging materials and energy for transportation. Bottles and packaging materials may end up in landfills. 6 Warren Street has an indoor environment free of smoke and chemicals with state-of-the-art ventilation and lighting systems. Low emission materials were utilized in all paint, glue, and carpeting. These people-friendly features create a pleasant and healthy indoor environment to encourage productive employees, reduce absenteeism, and improve employee retention. A demand-controlled ventilation design was incorporated for employee comfort and energy savings. Individual desk lamps and temperature controls are readily available for employees at their workstations. The use of natural daylight wherever possible saves energy, improves occupant well-being and productivity, and is healthier for the eyes. Energy efficient lighting fixtures have been installed to reduce power consumption while maintaining healthy light levels in the spaces. All of the building's carpets and furniture were manufactured using recycled content materials to conserve raw materials and decrease energy required for material transport. Forest Stewardship Council, or FSC, certified wood products were used to promote responsible forest management. As part of the overall design efficiency of 6 Warren Street, the first floor features the reception area and a waste recycling center storage area to reduce pollution and landfill impacts. Changing rooms, complete with showers, encourage the use of bicycles for transportation. A comfortable, spacious cafeteria offers a place for employees to relax and enjoy coffee breaks or lunch. An energy-efficient elevator uses a high-efficiency motor, which consumes about one-third the energy of the baseline typical hydraulic elevator. A raised floor was utilized for the installation of a new heating, cooling, and ventilation system, as well as communication systems, power delivery, and other internal building systems. A green roof reduces runoff for stormwater control and collects rainwater for irrigation using gray water. Wire and conduit are in place for future photovoltaic generation to utilize solar energy. The heat island effect is reduced by the roof's white color and green plantings. The basement houses the gray water storage basin for use with the building's toilets. This reduces the demand for fresh water and the energy needed for purification systems. The building's geothermal system heat pumps are also located in the basement. We have a building that is the same generation as the starting of the, the founding of our company. This building, I believe, was completed in 1865. Our company was founded in 1876. And we still have the exterior, the foundation, the very solid foundation of a company and a building that has been here for many, many years. This business was started by my great-great-grandfather almost 130 years ago. He was very forward-thinking. He was a pioneer. He was a leader in this area. Throughout its history, Barton has been always forward-thinking and looking at the next best thing. And the next best thing right now is for us to be a leader in this area both in the business sense and creating an environment for employees that is forward thinking and also in the environmental sense. We'd like to lead this community to create an example for the community that you can build a building that's environmentally sensitive that not only is good for the environment but it's good for the people. Our employees are going to enjoy a much, much better environment than just a traditional building.